Hey Roaches, Blover here. Before we hop into this video, make sure to like button and subscribe and let's hop right in. Alrighty everyone, so today we're going to be going over five things every player wants to be added to Greenville. Now I think I did a video about this like probably like a year or so ago now. But yeah, I'm just going over like five things I think could be really cool if they were added to Greenville and why I would want them added. And yeah, let me know what things you want to see added to Greenville down in the comments. But before we hop into this video, let's dive into our sponsor. Cash and Mall is a reward app that pays you for playing games. It's available for Android devices with many choice for games. You can choose any types of games you'd like to play. The more you play, the more you earn. All you need to do is download the app from the Play Store and you can begin. Afterwards, choose a game you like to play. Some games will earn you more coins. After downloading and playing the game, you'll be able to see how many coins you collected by playing. Once you've collected enough coins for a cash out, you can choose a payment option. These can take up to 48 hours to process. You can get real money payouts or gift cards of user's choice for playing popular mobile games. Choose gift cards from Amazon, iTunes, Starbucks, and more. Link to cash them all will be down below. Anyways, let's hop into five things I want to see added to Greenville. To start off here, we have Lane Keep Assist. Whilst this isn't the most realistic approach of things to be added, Lane Keep Assist would be 100% super cool in the form of other features, and it would just pair super well features like AEB and stuff like that. And let's face it, people who suck at driving really do need stuff like this. So yeah, really cool thing. Maybe we can get it added. Who knows? Uh, let me know, would you guys want Lane Keep Assist added? I know it's a very popular suggestion. I'm kind of interested how the devs would even add that though. But let's hop on to number two. Alright guys, so number two is an auction system. So as we all know, within the Forza Horizon games, you are actually able to auction off your vehicles that you own. Now, why would you want to introduce this green Well, A lot of players have limited in cars that are no longer for sale, and this would allow players to now sell those cars, make a profit, and also make players who want to collect those cars be able to collect them. So again, like, you know, it'd be totally sick, and it would really help players who, you know, want to buy limited cars that are no longer for sale, and it's also an amazing way for people to profit off of their cars they no longer want and give them to deserving players. And additionally, it would also open up so many cool like video ideas in the forms of challenges, like the best auction car for under like 15K, like the best sports car challenge for like other YouTubers and stuff. It, it'd just be like so cool. Imagine like a bunch of Forest Horizon challenges being able to be done in Greenville. Just let that, that, that sink in kinda. But let's hop on to number three. Now number three is actually another pretty requested feature which is, which is the test drive system. Maybe like, Bulber, what is that? So oftentimes when you're shopping for a new car, you can take one out for a test drive. So why not implement that into Greenwell? I think we all spent a, you know, time looking for a new car and we just can't decide what and we wish we could just take it for a test drive without like spending like 80 grand for a car. So similar to games like Test Drive Unlimited, I feel like in Greenwell, you should be able to take your car for a quick spin, like three to five minutes and just see if that's a car you truly want. Now, obviously there would be a time limit, like 35 minutes, I'd say just to moderate its usage. Now guys, on to number four, we have bumper slash window stickers. Now, this is not really like a deep, you know, it's like a, it's not like a deep suggestion, but I feel like it'd just be really cool. So, this would be like a cool, not over the top way to customize our cars and give them their own unique charm. And, you know, myself, I would 100% utilize this. I think this would be absolutely amazing and it'd just be really cool. I think like maybe we could upload them similar to like how you can do custom paintings in Bloxburg or something and that'd just be super sick. Alrighty guys, our fifth and final one is gas types. So as we all know, gas stations have different gas types and how cool would it be if, you know, to have like different prices depending on what type of gas you had to get for your car. So let's say for example, your car was diesel, so you had to pay the price of diesel. Or if your car was just normal gas, you could choose between like 87 regular, 89 premium, or 91 slash 93 octane. And you know, it'd be different prices and you might be like, Blubber, well, I'm just gonna get the cheapest one, but what if these things like in real life affected how if fuel efficient your car is, meaning it would affect the fuel consumption, and it could also affect the performance of the vehicle. Like I myself, I always put in 93 octane because, you know, I, I love my car, but there's people out there that put like 87 all the time, and you know, it, I've actually put it 87 once in, and it kind of shows, like, I don't know, I might just be in my head, but I, I just feel like my car drives so much better with 93, and yeah, it's just super, I feel like that'd be such a cool thing in Greenville, it'd be super cool to be able to like, you know, have your car perform worse or better or like normal depending on what type of gas you put in. But let's hop on to the outro. Alrighty guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like button and subscribe and let me know what videos you wanna see down below in the comments. And again, I'd like to thank our sponsor Cash Mall for sponsoring this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.